Hello, and welcome to What's My Choice, the show where we follow the choice of one typical family on a typical day of their lives. Here's our typical family now. Meet Dad. Dad is the head of the household, always wanting the very best for his family. Oh look, here comes Mom. Mom is the caretaker, always cleaning and caring for her family. And here's Trudy, always trying to get on the camera. And at last, here's Timmy. Timmy is a swell kid. He's just arrived home from school. Let's listen in to their conversation. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How's it going? Hello, Timmy. How was your day at school? It was swell. Today, I learned some cool stuff in history, and I got an A on my science test. Good job, Timmy. That's my boy. Thanks, Mom. Dad? Mom? I was wondering if I could go bowling with some of my friends. It's a school night. You have homework to do. Please, I won't be all late. No, Timmy, your mother is right. You know the rules. No going out on school nights. Uh-oh, it looks like Timmy has some choices here. How will he respond? Will he? A, throw a screaming tantrum. Oh, come on, guys. I'm, <laughs> that's ridiculous. B, go anyway. Forget you guys. I'm going anyways. Or C, decide to obey. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I do need to start on this science project. Timmy's parents are pleased. Timmy, we're pleased with you. Thank you for making the right choice. Thanks, Dad. Soon, however, another choice is presented to young Timmy. Timmy, dear, could you take out the trash, please? A dreaded chore has been asked of an innocent teenager. Timmy has a choice. What will he do? He could A, respond with sarcasm. I don't know, maybe I can fit you in between Foosball and Halo 2? B. Perform a dramatic Shakespearean monologue describing how he feels. Oh, my sorrow aboundeth, my heart is an alabaster sepulcher of pain. Wherefore did I, a slave of fancy, come herein to suffer forthwith? C. Choose to obey. Okay, Mom, that sounds reasonable. This makes Timmy's parents happy. Alas, another choice arises. Son, are you planning on going to the big dance this year? Yes, I am. And I asked Sally out, and she said yes. Oh, dear Timmy, we've never met Sally Brown before. That's true, dear. Son, we would prefer to meet Sally beforehand. We don't want you dating anyone before we know them. Again, Timmy is on the verge of a choice. Will he? A. Use the old, you just don't understand me routine. What? You just don't understand me. I mean, come on. None of my friend's parents asked me to do that. B. Faint and then later blame his fainting and fears on his parents meeting his friends. <laughs> C. Agree to their request. Jeez, I never thought about how that would make you feel. I mean, gosh. I guess I could see now how that would make you feel. I'll go and ask her to come to dinner, and then y'all can get the meter. I mean, I know it's pretty important to y'all. Of course, so we wouldn't ask if we didn't think it was important. Thank you for being Once again, Timmy makes the right choices. He wants to honor and obey, so he chooses to do what his parents say. Timmy, we're very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. So remember the lesson you've learned from Timmy today. Honor and obey your parents. It's the right thing to do. Be sure and join us next week on What's My Choice when Trudy eats Timmy's birthday cake. Until then, 